you guys? Gold Pony here today in the 2018 Audi S4, courtesy of Sun Motor Cars in Mechanicsburg, PA. And this one is for my brother because I know you want this car so very bad. So let me start with pricing. The 2018 S4 is going to start at $50,900 for the Premium Plus. Then there is a Prestige trim level for $55,800. And as far as the power plant goes, it is a little different than the last generation. This power plant is not going to be supercharged. It is going to come from a 3 liter twin scroll turbocharged six cylinder engine putting out 354 horsepower 5400 rpm and 369 pound feet of torque available at around 1400 rpm power is going to be sent to all four wheels of course through audi's quattro all-wheel drive system and the power is going to be sent to the wheels through an eight speed tiptronic automatic transmission with paddle shifters which i will be testing out a little later in the video and so audi puts the zero to 60 time at around 4.4 seconds for this one and if you know anything about audi and their numbers you know that they tend to under promise and over deliver so it is my best guesstimate that that zero to 60 time is probably going to be around three to four tenths of a second less than that as it has in the past also top speed on this one is going to be electronically limited to 155 miles per hour but one of the best parts about all audis really is the drive mode select or as they call it audi drive select and that's going to give you the option to choose between a few different driving modes including comfort auto dynamic and individual that button is going to be located just above the cup holders there and i gotta say i just put it in dynamic driving mode and the very first thing I noticed was the steering sensitivity is a much, much heavier feel. Instantly puts you in the direction that you want to go. And that is my favorite part about all the alleys I have ever driven. The steering sensitivity is absolutely amazing. I would even say better than any other vehicle I've driven. This one feels the best as far as steering goes. But like I said, it does also adjust a couple other things like the throttle response as well as the shift points. And I know what some of you might say at this point, the shift points, what if you get the manual? Well, that is another thing they changed for 2018, you guys. The way Audi put it, the last generation S4, there was about 10% of their S4 sales were equipped with a manual transmission. So they decided to scrap it in 2018. I have a feeling that eight speed Tiptronic is gonna be just as good. So let me slide the shifter to the right here. That's gonna put me in paddle shift driving mode here. And let's test out the paddle shifters here. not disappointed. The reaction time for just about every Audi I've driven, to be quite honest, is absolutely amazing. As soon as you hit the paddle shifter, it immediately takes you to the next gear. But now just to touch briefly on visibility, there is a pretty decent sized rear window back there, so I'm having no issues. I can see perfectly fine. And speaking of that rear view, the rear view mirror actually has a frameless design, so I definitely think it's a nice styling cue. I'm a fan at least. And while I'm on visibility, I should also mention there is a heads-up display I'm looking at right now. Not only is it telling me how fast I'm going, but it's also telling me the speed limit of the particular road that I am currently on, just to make sure I don't get any speeding tickets while I'm test driving this vehicle, which is always nice. And so, but anyways, one last thing I wanted to do here, just a quick acceleration, see how quickly we can get the 2018 S4 here up to speed. Again, so not disappointed. This thing is a rocket, without a doubt, a super fun car. And it stops quite nicely too. Speaking of braking, as far as the brake setup goes, up front there are 13.8 inch ventilated discs. In the back, 13.1 inch ventilated discs. And another thing I should mention, there is something called an S Sport package that's gonna add an additional $2,500, but that one is gonna add red brake calipers in the front and the back. Also, it's gonna add a sport adaptive damping suspension and a sport rear differential in case you wanted to go that route and so but anyways enough with the driving dynamics let's check out the exterior on this one and so up front there is that audi single frame front grille always looks good and as far as the front grille goes on the s4 it's differentiated between the a4 because you do have a thicker bar set up up there and more obviously there is also that s badging in the corner the two sides there is full led automatic headlamps with automatic headlight leveling as well and just below it all there are led fog lights but then swinging around to the side there's going to be led integrated turn signals in the side mirror housings and by the way, yet another way you can differentiate the S4 between the A4. Those side mirrors are going to be coated in aluminum optic housings and they are power adjustable, power folding, heated, and they come with a memory system as well. And as far as the windows go, there is aluminum trim around those side windows and the wheel setup is going to be standard 18 inch double five spoke wheels with summer tires. However, of course, there are optional wheel setups, including an additional $800 option 19 inch setup with a 5V spoke design. But then swing around to the back, there are LED taillights with dynamic turn signal signals, meaning the LED is going to slide from side to side. At least that's what it's going to look like. But I think that's a pretty cool feature there. And there are rear LED fog lights below and an integrated rear spoiler definitely looks awesome on this one. And there is an S model specific rear diffuser and just below it all quad exhaust outlet. So you guys know what's coming next here is that exhaust clip. Now, 
since we're around back, one thing I wanted to show you guys here is there is a power rear lift gate. You can simply press that button right there and that's going to open up your trunk. As far as cargo capacity goes, that's going to come in at an even 13 cubic feet. And there are split folding 40-20-40 rear seat backs, meaning you can fold down those rear seats for a ton of additional space in case you needed it. And in that trunk, there are four cargo tie downs, two side nets, and two grocery hooks, which actually are pretty cool. I was a big fan of those. So that's always nice. But anyways, moving up to those rear seats, rear legroom is going to come in at 35.7 inches. So for reference, I'm at even six feet tall. This is how much space I had going on back there. And of course, as expected, there is a rear rear armrest with two cup holders within that armrest and there is rear ventilation in the front as well helping get the cool air back to the rear passengers on a hot day definitely appreciated then moving up to the front seats there are leather seating surfaces with s logo embossing in the top part and that all comes standard with diamond stitching definitely looks amazing and these front seats do come 12-way power adjustable with four-way lumbar and there is a massage function for the driver and the passenger so after a long boring or hard day's work you have the massage function to help you relax as well as that amazing power anyways those front seats are heated with memory settings as well then as far as the steering wheel goes it is tilt and telescope scoping it does come with the s emblem at the bottom and as far as the startup goes it is all keyless entry so let me show you guys the key here real quick you do have the s logo on the one side and if you flip it over you got your lock unlock at the top there as well as that power rear hatch as i was previously showing you but anyways just simply keep the key in your pocket or put it anywhere in the vehicle put your foot on the brake press the engine start button which is located just in front of those front cup holders there and then one of the favorite parts are the gauges on this one because there is that available digital gauge setup and you can either get that by getting the prestige trim or you're going to get that by getting the navigation package for the premium plus but either way definitely looks amazing that is the gauge setup i would prefer on this one because it is audi's virtual cockpit and just to give you guys a brief setup of how it works is the standard setup is you have your tachometer front and center with the digital speed located within that tachometer to the right it's going to give you your time of day the day of the week and the date and to the left it's going to give you a ton of different driving information including your average miles per gallon and then if you continue to scroll to the right you got your bluetooth information as well as a navigation screen and i'm going to leave it on that navigation screen for a second here because if you press the view button located on the steering wheel mounted controls here that is going to completely change that virtual cockpit to the navigation basically taking up the full screen that is awesome so in the bottom left hand corner you're going to have your tachometer as well as what driving mode you're currently in and in the bottom right hand corner you're going to have your digital speed and on the very bottom of that entire screen it's going to tell you the temperature outside as well as the current speed limit of the road you're on overall definitely an amazing display and if you didn't want the navigation displayed across the full screen you can adjust that you can show your average miles per gallon up there you can show your bluetooth information like i was previously saying or again the navigation so pretty cool there so but anyways just to touch briefly on overall interior quality there is a power sunroof that comes standard on the s4 there is a black cloth headliner three zone automatic climate control so both the driver passenger and the rear passengers can control their own climate there's a comfort front armrest there are four 12 volt power outlets to make sure you stay connected there's going to be ambient led lighting throughout the vehicle which i can't really show you right now because it's still light out but it's going to look sweet at night then there is an auto dimming rear view mirror and i gotta say i love the alcantara accents on the door just below the carbon fiber trim accents which are actually up here on the dash as well so definitely a nice touch throughout the car there anyways moving on to that tech front and center there's a seven inch color infotainment display that's going to come standard with android auto and apple carplay so if you're not familiar with them they're going to give you free navigation through google maps so even if you didn't go with the navigation package you're still going to have navigation which is pretty cool you also can like and dislike your pandora songs up there a couple of other apps you can work with like iHeartRadio and a couple other ones anyways on that screen you're also going to get a 90 day trial of sirius xm radio in case you were interested you of course have bluetooth with audio streaming and the standard sound system for every trim level this is pretty cool is the bang and olsen 3d sound system with 19 speakers a 16 channel amplifier and 755 watts so you guys know what's coming next let's test out the audio system see what kind of clarity we got going on see what we got on the radio today <laughs> nothing like a little r&b to start your saturday morning but definitely absolutely a ton of bass on this one perfect clarity i am absolutely a huge fan of that sound system anyways last thing i wanted to mention to you guys is when you put the vehicle in reverse you do have a reverse camera with grid lines and if you go with the prestige trim or the navigation package you do have the top view camera as well giving you every angle you would possibly want including the back of the car the front of the car the sides of the car and of course that top view 
camera, which is honestly really all you need that's going to show you everything around you. But anyways, that is always is going to lead me into safety. So to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. There are driver and passenger knee airbags as well. It's not on every vehicle out there. And in addition to that, if you wanted to keep your rear passengers extra, extra safe, there are rear side airbags available for an additional $350 as well. That you almost never see on vehicles. That is a pretty cool safety feature out there if you wanted it. Continuing on, those back seats also come with latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children. So you can strap in the rear car seats. There's an electromechanical parking brake just behind the shifter. There's a tire pressure monitoring system, electronic stability control with traction control. There's anti-lock brakes, electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. And there is the parking system with front and rear parking sensors. So this is going to beep at you if you get too close to an object. Make sure you don't run into anything. That's always nice. And lastly, the prestige trim is going to add Audi side assist, Audi pre-sense rear with rear cross traffic assist and vehicle exit assist. Hey, so but anyways, you guys, that is about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on this stuff at the bottom of the screen right there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.